Good morning. Today we'll discuss about the continuous balance type DVM or which is also called as servo balancing potential type DVM. And this is the block diagram of continuous balance type DVM. It mainly consisting of a chopper. This is one, this is the chopper which is generally called as a mechanical chopper. To this mechanical chopper we are giving two inputs. One is the DC input which has to be measured and the other is the reference voltage which is coming through the potentiometer. So this chopper is acting as a comparator which compares both the voltages that is the input voltage to be measured and the reference voltage. After comparison it gives some output. That output is driven by this AC drive at a line frequency. Generally a square wave signal is generated after comparison of both the voltages and that square wave signal is given to the preamplifier it is amplified and then it is given to the power amplifier and finally the pulses whatever it is required to the servo motor is given to the servo motor. What does the servo motor do means it will drive the potentiometer arm in such a way that the difference between the volt two voltages becomes zero and the corresponding reading whatever to be measured with respect to the input value to be measured that is displayed in your readout. This servo motor is nothing but called as a position control motor. It generally controls the potentiometer arm in such a way that both the voltages become zero and finally the value to be measured is displayed in the digital readout. So you already know what is an input attenuator just attenuator is a device which is used to either raise the voltages or reduce the voltages and that output is given to the overload protection and AC rejection. What does this do means during the attenuation process if any sort of ripples is produced that ripples has been removed and that is given to the chopper because chopper is a device which generally take a DC supply. So here the DC supplies of both the input voltage and the reference voltages are compared and the difference in the voltages whatever it is produced that produces some output. That output is generally a square wave signal. That square wave signal is driven by using an AC drive circuit at a line frequency of 50 Hz. And then it is given to the preamplifier and the power amplifier where the signal is getting amplified and it generates some pulses which is required to operate the servo motor. This servo motor sends a signal to the potentiometer arm in such a way that the arm of the potentiometer adjusts, adjusts in such a way that both the voltages after comparison become zero and final output is displayed in the digital readout. This is about your block diagram of continuous balance type DVM or servo balancing potentiometer type DVM.